Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, where we unlock the power of service now. Okay, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. We're almost up to 200 subscribers. I do have a goal of 1,000 by my birthday, which is the first week of March, so I really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Um, we have about 6,700 views, and I want to just note here that we do have playlists um, that I've created, which um, have different themes to them. So if you want to, you can click on a playlist and just let the videos run. Um, this incident alert management, I think, was the latest playlist that I created. Oh, excuse me, the form, the form videos one was. Um, but also, this one's been very popular, too. Okay, so today, um, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about business rules, and I'm going to show you one way to set up a business rule for uh, an item called actual start. Now, you've probably seen this field in the table. It's not necessarily on the problem form or on the incident form out of the box, but I find it kind of handy to uh, set the actual start or have it populated at a certain point in a well-defined process. So generally, incident can be a little bit tricky because there's just so many variables there and so many reassignments that are going on. So I wanted to focus on problem, which generally, uh, from my experience, has a way more um, structured type of workflow. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to, to set one of these up. Okay, so first we're going to go to problem.config, and we're going to set up, I'm sorry, this is incident right here, and we're going to go to dot .config, and the reason why is because when you set up a business rule, um, generally in the instructions, what you'll see is um, they'll tell you to go to business rules and click new. I just hate finding the table, and I hate mixing the ta tables up, because when you create a business rule from, from here, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically populate the table. So I find it's a lot more effective. So let's do actual start. Okay, and we see here this set actual start, which I've created. I'm going to go over to the next tab. If you had clicked on it, uh, it would come into here. And then I just typed in actual start. The table's already there. Um, and then uh, active is checked. I'm not going to do anything advanced because Basically, there's no code that's needed, and that's the beauty of this solution right here. So, and this is only going to be when we have an updated problem record. And basically, right here, what we're seeing is when the assignment group changes from IVIP to Golden Parachute, what's going to happen is, if we go to the Actions tab, the actual start value, meaning what's popular, there will be the same as updated. So, whatever time and date is in here when it's updated, meaning when that change happens, that assignment group reassignment, um, it's going to show up in the actual start. And then there's going to be a message at the top uh, with a light blue banner that says Text, test actual start. The clock starts now with a smiley face. And uh, I've already ran a test, so I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, one thing I did with the form was that I dragged the actual start in here because out of the box, um, the actual start was not on the form. Sometimes you'll have it on the form, sometimes not. It just depends up to your organization's user requirements. And they also have an actual end here, too. So I'll just demonstrate how you would drag and drop something like this. And you would click Save if you want it to appear on the form. So let's see what this actually does. So I have already have opened um, right here a problem record. And the assignment group is IVIP. Now when I change this to Golden Parachute, what should happen is this actual start field should populate. So let's change it to golden parachute. And apologies if my system's a little bit slow here. I'm going to click save. And there we have our little message here. And it's informing our team what? The SLA clock is starting now. Um, if we had an SLA set up on this. And I can refer you to those other videos that I have. I mean, you could use this with retroactive start if you wanted to. Um, if you have problems creating the definition, you could use that retroactive start um, to reflect the actual start right here. Um, also, if you didn't want anyone to touch this, you could do a UI policy on it. And I do have a video on that. Um, so we see this is populated and, and we're good to go. Um, another thing I wanted to mention uh, with this, um, actually, you know what, we'll cut it right there. Um, and I'll do, I'll do another segment um, on something similar to this. So uh, I'm Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.